So when you are recording like that, you have you like to shit? no, you have to unplug the mic so you get the sound from there. ¿Qué porriguito? ¿Qué le pasó? Una piedra. ¿Te salió volando? Sí. Mexican guy died from a heart attack. <laughs> right. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today we have this W900 KW, and he was having uh, the f uh, song. <coughs> he was having some DEF problems, uh, emission problems in this case, checking your light on and off and everything. So the problem then this uh, truck was having was then the DP DEF pressure was low. Um, I've if you don't know about the DEF system, the DEF system works in a specific pressure and if the pressure is too high or too low, it will set different codes because you need this specific pressure to uh, uh, have the enough um, uh, flow of DEF to low the emissions within the SCR system. So if this pressure is bad, um, it's going to call fault codes, it's going to derate the engine loop, uh, um, Derail the speed of the truck and so many problems. Um, DEF problems are caused for many different issues. It could be a DEF pump that is bad, then there is no DEF at all in the system, then the system is not getting power at all, a unplug pump or a leak somewhere, or simply then the uh, source of main power, the fuse of the uh, ACM or the computer of the mission is gone. So in this case, I'm going to uh, talk about one problem that these uh, Cummins have. This is a 2021 W900 with a Cummins X15. And um, a very common problem that happens on this is um, the low pressure on the DF pump. And uh, if you don't know that uh, fault number here, you have the fault numbers. And um, it's, these are related to low pressure. Um, the DF is not working as it should. So it's gonna get you a D-rate and then you're gonna have problems with different things. Anyway, um, if you don't know the location of the DF pump, in this case for any KW or Peterbilt, um, it could be a W900, it could be a 395 Peterbilt, it could be a, a T680, doesn't matter what model of Peterbilt or Kangor you have, it's still the DF pump is gonna be located right here. Right here is the DF pump. That, that one right is right behind the DF tank. And uh, this DF pump is using many different models and many different uh, makes, manufacturers. So Freightliner use this uh, DF pump. Uh, um, Packard, which is uh, um, Packard engines, they use this uh, pump. Cummins use this pump. Volvo, I'm not sure, but they use the similar style of pump. They have some variations and the variations are the fittings, um, the type of uh, pressure they are calibrated to, so that varies. But overall, this is the same um, DF pump for many different brands. But in this case, this is the DF pump. In case you, you want to check your DF pump, this is the location, so you have to go underneath the vehicle and then is where you're going to see it. But in this case, we are not going to talk about the DF pump because the problem is not there. The problem is not at the DF pump. The problem is right here at the tank. This is the DF tank and that's the reason why we have the DF tank completely removed from the truck because uh, we have to take it apart to get to the source of this problem. Uh, of course, then to remove the DF tank, first you have to drain the coolant. The coolant is very important, that's something because these lines over here are coolant lines. But then once you do that, you have to remove different brackets and all the stuff, then remove, uh, they, they are holding the, the DF tank. And then uh, once you get the tank out, you're going to have it like in this condition, in this position. And then you are going to remove all these bolts right here uh, to remove this. Uh, basically, this is a header. This is the uh, heater for the uh, DEF inside. When it gets too cold, the coolant hits the DEF inside. And these are the intake and return uh, lines uh, to the DEF pump and from the DEF uh, injection system so um, and also uh, we have to remove the injector I mean the leveling sending unit which is this one just twist it to the left and then you're gonna be able to remove it uh, it's a pretty simple process um, 
uh, nothing complicated once you know how to do it but uh, the reason why we remove this is because in here uh, when I remove it so you can see it so when you remove it you're gonna remove it this way and it comes out like this if it doesn't come out it's because you have a problem somewhere then it's holding the the, the the header so you have to remove the leveling the leveling unit right here um, if you don't remove it you won't be able to to get it out um, in here in this area right here this tube right here this is the the pickup tube to the DF tank uh, and it sends the, the flow to the, the uh, pump so right here is the problem the problem is then uh, this one has a filter and uh, here is the filter um, the filter gets uh, uh, bad over the time because it start picking up any cup any kind of debris then are uh, in the DF system when you fill the DF tank from the pump when you open the cup everything then sits inside the DF tank after you have it open like 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 the way it is right now anything any debris is going to be captured by this filter and this what this filter does is prevent any type of debris go directly to the DF pump which is over there so anything that can destroy the DF pump can be captured by this any big uh, pieces of DF like the ones you can see or simply dirt then can be all over the place so the problem is that this filter gets uh, damage and get saturated with so much stuff and it doesn't allow the free flow of the DEF to the DEF pump because the pickup uh, of the DEF is, uh, is getting so much restriction then the DEF then is getting to the pump is not enough to supply the pressure to the system and that's the reason why we're getting problems with the DEF pressure very low um, of course right there is nothing uh, uh, sure about then this can be the solution to the problem this is the solution to this problem right here but the solution to your problem can be different because when you have a, D, a low pressure on your DF system this not only mean then this can be bad it can be also a leak a physical leak it can be the DF pump then it's not working at all or simply then the injector is not reading because the injector and the metric unit the one that reads the pressure of the DF pump are one, are one unit together so the injector has the pressure unit in it built inside so if the injector is reading then the pressure is low and everything is fine probably the injector also could, but could have the problem but if you already uh, you are sure then the system is working correctly then you don't see any any uh, faults on the injection system you don't see any problems with the uh, the air pump and there is no leaks and nothing else probably this could be your problem but for that you have to inspect your truck manually and uh, once you get to the conclusion go ahead and replace this filter and this could be the solution to your problem but uh, to be sure and if you want to solve many problems I would suggest that if you are going to do any service to the DF tank and uh, you want uh, to make sure that the truck is not going to have any problems replace your filter this is the pickup filter of the DF tank and replace the DF pump if you replace these two components together you are going to be sure that you are going to be running fine for a while uh, but if you don't have the budget just replace the filter if the filter is the problem or replace the pump if the pump is the problem but remember then you have to physically see if you don't have leaks if you don't have leaks if you don't have any type of problems with communications between the computer and the pump you don't have any type of problems with the injection system the AF injection system or uh, simply if the system is correct, working correctly if you hear the pump then it's working and everything obviously then the, the problem could be somewhere else if the pressure is not reaching a specific level and it's going dropping up and down probably probably yes the, the pump can be bad but you have to be sure you have to make sure that everything is working correctly first but anyway i wanted to give you a little heads up about this problem because it's a very common problem in Cummins x 15s uh, any kw any period bill are equipped with uh, Cummins uh, x 15s and most likely you want to have this filter on your tank it's very common filter uh, this is the newest version 
so all, all the filters are going to be shorter um, and uh, this is um, a little special because it's a KW900 so the filter is just a little different than the others but still it's the same basic they are made the same way um, uh, but uh, just remember then you have to pay attention to all these little details I, I gave you so that way you understand the concept on what is the uh, solution to your problem and what could be this, uh, the problem that you have and what are the steps that you're going to take depending on what you found at uh, the moment of inspection of, of uh, your truck. Um, but anyway, um, this, this will be all I'm going to be showing you um, for um, up to now, uh, at this moment. We don't have this filter, uh, dealer doesn't have it, so we had to order it. I don't know how long it's going to take because nobody here has it. Um, but uh, hopefully we can get it within this week because this truck has to go to work. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Any type of recommendations or um, anything to add to this video, you can you use the comment section below as well. In the description of the video, you can see details on how to send support to the channel. On Instagram, you can find me, Francisco Maya YouTube. And thank you for watching.